here's a breakdown of some sheaf throwing and what I'm doing technically. So kind of just opening throw, just kind of get things going through the motion. From there on, I'm going to start doing some bottom drills. So this is a drill I recommend. Really just lay the bag and the fork right over your right foot, which is basically going to be your low point for the throw. Uh, where you're going to start trying to drive up. The, the bottom of the swing is actually going to be more of a check than it is going to be an actual arc. So you're going to hit a back swing and then try to hit that low point that you're at and then basically jump into a snatch pull is the way I kind of cue it. Um, so you can get all the vertical out of it that way. So that's where I'm pulling and uh, staring at the sky awkwardly. So that pull there is going to be the key, and it's got to be a vertical pull. You can see it here again from a different angle. The fork is right over that right foot. Arms are pretty loose here, and so from that position, I'm basically just going to jump, and since things are torqued, as I jump, it's going to untorque, and I'm really not pulling too, too hard with my left hand as much as I'm just jumping and then blocking and letting it stop. Uh, that's really the way I started trying to get a feel for the sheaf and the release as in uh, the same way I still warm up at all the games I do today. I've even taken the first couple throws if it's not feeling great that way. Uh, usually some you know, opening heights I can hit with uh, that method, get a feel for it. Um, people think it's a dumb human trick, but I do it because I'm not confident in the way my sheaf feels that day since I don't practice it a whole hell of a lot, but now I'm going to. Uh, I'm throwing a Jonathan Irvin fork and a Clevenger bag. Uh, both have been awesome for me, and uh, I've had some great throws. Uh, so this is a full throw. You can see the bag goes straight down here. I go down with it, and then pull it up once it kind of hits over the right foot. I would like personally for myself to stay a little bit more uh, centered balance-wise, but I am drifting over the right foot, I guess, because I'm starting to pull. But that may be due to the weight loss and some changes, but I'll get it sorted. Um, so the cue here is I don't have a giant backswing, I don't pull back, but you want to pull it back far enough that the bag is going to get all the way behind your, uh, your, your back knee or my right knee. And by behind, I mean it's not really coming back behind, the, the, the swing here is going to stay pretty linear that it's going to stay out in front of you. But you can see that it's going to watch it reach back and get past my knee and then I'm going to come up with it you know I'm kind of just trying to keep the hips moving through the throw instead of staying real stiff I try to stay loose with all the throws and I find that being a big help so you'll see it here go all the way past the knee and then it comes up and then I drive it down and then drive it up from that low point and kind of get it to uh, spring off and flick off the end of the fork is what you're ideally hoping for Uh, here's a little you know, closer look at the feet and where the legs are. You'll see the bag come back and then up past the knee and then down to the low point. Actually drag the ground a little bit and then finish and block. That right hand kind of hits the stomach and stops and the left hand stops just about parallel. Here's another view. Uh, I start my throw kind of from the same bottom position. I try to pull my shoulders back basically like I'm going to start a snatch. Uh, quick into that position to get the hips kind of moving and then from there I start my throw. I don't do a lot of winds or any of that. I feel like that's just more time for me to start thinking and basically get in my own way. So you'll see the bag stay pretty loose, come back, the bag is going to rock up. I'm going to come up with it and then start driving it down, low point, and then finish up. And then you can see it again here from the full throw. Uh, starting to actually put a little force into these last couple. You see, you know, staying, staying fluid with the bag and not fighting it, you got to use that swing of the bag as well. Uh, you know, really dig your fork you know, into a corner. You want to have enough of a purchase on it, and then you can, there again is that bottom, and then drive it straight up. So again, you want to have enough of a purchase on it that you're, it's not going to slip off your fork when you start pulling. Uh, I had a fork that was pretty flat and that was an issue with it flying off. Since uh, making an adjustment to the fork tines, I'm now better off. So again, here is that cue. It's going to go back and stay pretty smooth. I rise up with it, start driving it down, 
And then when it hits that low point, really starting to drive through the legs and drive it straight up, just like I'm gonna go into a snatch pull. So that's that, enjoy, and uh, throw one deep, and uh, have a good season.